So when I first start, I do set up some spaces, um, you know, I, I guess reverbs or repeats or, you know, air. So I do have some, I do that so I can try out different things straight away rather than like bring up instruments and then have to do all that. I kind of do that first. But um, I nearly always start with drums. I'm very old fashioned in, in that way. So um, get, a, get a drum sound or, you know, tweak that, positioning, panning. Then bass, you know, I'm very methodical in that kind of old school, old school way. Um, being that the word vocals, in a way, makes it a lot easier anyway. I mean, I have been known to not, to almost start with a vocal, but you know, have the vocal up there and, and get it in its space, and then bring in instruments around it. So I don't have a real fixed formula. I had this friend Ali McMordy. He was working on some demos with Sinead. I'd never heard of Sinead. Nobody had. Um, and he, he played me some of her stuff. Um, and I just said, I really love this. If ever there's an opportunity that I can work on it, please let me know. He said, well, we, ha we have a guitarist at the moment, but if anything happens, I'll let you know. I bumped into two members of the Psychedelic Furs, the Butler Brothers. They asked if I would be interested in, in doing their next tour. And I turned them down. Um, within a few days, I got a call from my friend Ali in London, and he said, um, well, the guitarist that we were using um, just got the gig with the Psychedelic Furs, so if you want to work with, with Sinead, the gig's yours. There's little tricks that I do with drums. You know, I don't compress the drums themselves, but I send a feed of the drums to a mono compressor and then bring that up as part of the drum kit. Because that way I can <clears throat> still have a live, real sounding kit, but have this energy or this kind of messed up element going on in there as well. A year 1176 set up, you know, on maximum, um, you know, all buttons in, fast attack, fast release. Um, if you listen to it on its own, it's atrocious. You know, it's pumping and dirty and all the rest of it. But when you slide it in behind... Okay. Your, pristine kit it just adds energy it also adds depth it bugs me with digital that it's very hard to get depth and the wonderful thing about analog especially tape if you record to tape is that you automatically get this depth this 3d thing happening digital always sounds like everything's here in recording i always found it difficult to create long sustained sounds on a guitar i didn't have like a huge Marshall stack with, you know, like feedback for days. I had a fairly small setup. In those days, I guess it was Roland Jazz Chorus, but I, I basically had a combo amp and I, I wasn't into cranking up and getting feedback and all that stuff. So my only thing to resort to was pedals. And in those days, although pedals were being developed at a fast pace, there still really wasn't like a really great infinite sustain pedal. So I was always looking for something to do that. I used to get all the guitar mags and stuff, and then I saw it advertising one of them, I think, infinite sustain. I, I'm not even sure if I noticed that um, Bill Nelson was using it at that point. Maybe I had, I don't know. I did meet the band a couple of times in the early days and um, and then a bit later on. I dealt with Mark. It sort of transpired that um, the record company were quite happy for Keith Aston, the manager, who was a personal friend of mine, which is how I kind of got involved in the first place. We just met one weekend and um, he told me about this band he was um, thinking about managing. And um, his dilemma was he, how to present them. He didn't know quite how to do that. But all he knew was they didn't want to be represented in the usual way that people were represented in the in the 80s i suppose uh bands like duran duran where mostly it was pretty boy images on the cover photographic and uh, so i suppose it was an antidote to that i just wanted to represent the band's name talk talk that's how the the lips the mouth the eyes came about 